All right, folks, welcome to Arduino for Beginners. This is Arduino 101. Let's check out another input. This time it is a simple push button module. So this one is not too complicated. Uh, you're welcome to run the signal pin back into another pin and then turn the LED on your board on and off. But I've chosen to put an external one. Um, so I've got a regular LED here. This is a 10 millimeter LED and there is a 220 ohm resistor on it between that and pin number eight. The other side is going back to ground and that's just kind of a separate setup that's not included with the button but you'll see why that's on there in a second. The uh, signal here is going into number five and the negative and positive are hooked to the five volt and ground as well. So um, the button works you can see it turns on the light. So I'm going to make this window a touch. Well, I suppose you don't need to see the comments. So basically, there are a few lines of code here. And we are grabbing LED pin 8. That's where the LED power is coming from. That's the negative side of the LED. Uh, and remember, we're running that through that 220 ohm resistor there. And then we are grabbing pin 5. Um, and that is the actual sensor for whether or not the button is pressed down. So then you have the value here, this int value equals zero. That's a variable we're gonna use down here to read what, whether it's pressed or not. Um, but first we have to set them up. So we're gonna set up the LED pin as an output because we're gonna put out power when we're on high and then we have the uh, in pin as input. And this is the pin that's connected to the sensor on the button module. So. We are gonna go ahead and jump down to the loop after that and set value equal to a read of the button, whether it's pressed or not. So if it's pressed, it's gonna say that the value is low actually and not high. So if the value is high, we're gonna turn the LED pin off, which is the natural state of the button. So if it's not pressed, we want the LED off. Then if it is not, which is what this else means. It means if it's not high, then we're gonna digital write LED pin high. So we're gonna turn it on. And this is how that works once you've uploaded it. Basically, a quick press of the button, the light turns on, it stays on while you hold it down because the loop is still checking. And then when you release it, after about a half a second, it just stops. So there's no delay in here. Um, there doesn't need to be. It's working just fine how it is and everything is working properly now I could hook up a couple more LEDs I suppose although I might have to change the resistor to get enough power but let's try quickly if we can light them both up with the press of the button here just by inserting one more and attaching it to the same ground and there you go they do both light up the greens not so bright needs a little more power than the red but um, they're still both lighting up so pretty simple push button for the Arduino and let's move on to the next sensor well that's it guys that's gonna wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below it won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers and so far I am just about to hit 5,000 so uh, it'll be a little while a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.